Hello everyone. Today I am going to make another typography t-shirt design. As you can see, this is the examples. So this is just a request from my group to show you how to make this kind of designs. This is really easy to make. Now for making them, I am going to we need to use a bold looking font like the font they are using in this image. So I just don't want to show you that much because that's from Sharpest Stock, so it can be copyrighted. Now for this kind of design we need to take a bolder looking text, bolder looking font. So I am using this font here, Broadway flat. This is really cool and bold enough. Now for making this kind of designs we just need to break our font because we just cannot apply those effects in our font. So that's why we break them. Now I am going to make them same size wide for each line just like this okay now maybe i will just distribute the space between them maybe a bit down then selecting them again distributing the space now i am going to make them a group so making them group will help me work with them now for this kind of designs i'm going to we need to break the lines like this to put separate colors on them now for that i'm going to use my pen tool here you can use line tool or any other tool you want and I am taking the fill none and the stroke none with no fill no stroke then I am going to just draw some random lines like this of course I am pressing shift for keeping the proportions right maybe another one here ok so I need to just select everything here then if I align them center wise like this then if I click on this I am deselecting the text now only the these lines are selected I am distributing the space now this is I should just make some changes here as there is no fill it is hard to see but that's not a problem something like this then maybe one here ok so I think this is good for me now for making that kind of effect we need to use our shape builder tool here okay so for shape builder tool sorry for that come on okay so for shape builder tool i am going to press shift m here now when the shift okay so sorry for that i need to press shift m when illustrator is active just like this now the rules for shape builder is we need to select the color for filling the area like if i just click it right like this there is no fill there is no stroke so it is looking like that but if i just take a color from here then if i click on this area it is going to fill that area with that color now for this one here this style of design we need to keep in mind that everything that is inside this line area should be in that same color you see everything here is in that same color then i'm going to change the color here for this part okay that color is not looking very good so let's take a lighter version of yellow and that part so everything that is inside a line that should be in the same color so that is the only rule here now if you just okay as you can see we just missed this part of the a when we are feeling red but that we can just fix anytime just like this then again I am taking this red color to fill that area now maybe something like this lighter color too okay <laughs> this area also I missed so this is really important to keep focus but don't worry that is just we can change it anytime so I am taking this one here to fill that color and of course this small parts is really important to colorize like this now for the okay let's take this maybe some kind of orange for the rest of the area here just like this then again taking this one to fill this color so this is the final position of my graphics right now now if you want we can just keep the lines that we draw with no stroke no fill or we can just erase them that's not a problem so i need to make sure that i don't have anything that is in that color 
like I only have this graphic in my design with colors this is black and this is this is just image so nothing here with color now for this style here I am going to okay first of all I need to select them then ungroup them keep ungrouping only until it is everything here is ungrouped like this is a group ungroup it okay if you can just select them like this manually you can work with them and then if it is selecting like the whole text you need to ungroup it like this small parts we should be able to select them just like this so that is good now i am going to take my magic wand tool to click on any color and that color is selected like everything in that color is selected i am making them a group okay so <laughs> that is basically here is some other group so we cannot group two object from two different group so that's why everything should be ungrouped then i'm making them a group now i'm clicking here to select this color making them a group again this color group this color group this color group so this is just some now i need to move them up so okay sorry for that i need to count it like here so i'm going to 10 step up then 7 step 4 step then we can simply bring this down just like this now this is not important we are just creating an effect here just to give it a look like this now if we just take a black rectangle here it will help us to see the design final design so something like this now i am going to lock this black rectangle so that will not move from its position something like this now this is this area is not maybe looking very good but that's not a problem right now we can always fix that just like this now for this designs here you can see they are using some kind of sparkles ellipse effect here of course we are not going to do the same here but we are going to do something different here and that is the area that is we are creating the effect here i am going to take my pen tool again like this this time i am going to give it a feel maybe something like this this feel okay let's just keep it as it is for now now I'm going to create another line here just from the middle of it another line from here you can see I am I am pressing the shift key for making the direction same every time so something like this now this is looking like this I am selecting my this to these lines from here because I want to keep everything inside a certain area so i'm taking my eraser tool now if i erase it like this it is going to erase the part that is going out if it is going a little bit out of the text area that is totally okay okay no problem with that just i want to keep everything inside the area something like this now we can simply just take our eraser tool now if i make it bigger a little bit bigger i can just break my lines from something like this just like this then maybe a bit smaller for that area again a bit bigger smaller so now we have broke them like this i am going to expand the appearance here expand the strokes okay sorry for that before expanding we can make it round yeah. that will make it look good like that part is not working okay that is because we just erase those part so it is looking like, like this now i need to expand it something like this then when it is expanded okay first step is i need to sorry for that i need to change the color here so that i can see them well now for these elements here that is like this this is overlapping my 
this color so I'm just going to select them and then I'm going to replace the colors here like this is a kind of I don't know what that color cream color and that's why I am taking the other colors on top of that this is the blue color so okay that is in that color so I am going to take the other colors on top of it except the blue one so this is just some repeating process just like this then maybe this one I am going to take this color this one okay that is in that color this color this color this is not looking good so let's take it again okay let's keep it as it is now for this one this blue color now this red color now this orange color okay so it, this is just a effect we created to make it give it a look like a little kind of texture look okay that is good i think now i can simply select everything then if i just deselect my groups my own text will my strokes will be selected on just like this then we can make some copies like this now this is just up to you if you just want to make it look like that i am just keeping it as it is for now now for the area here like one part here i am going to add some styles here i am going to apply some styles for that area okay for that i need to first of all i am keeping them side like this i need to create an effect here and the effect will be i am pressing shift x for making my stroke now no fill only stroke i am using my pen tool here and with my pen tool i am taking my this color and then if i click on this stroke and make it this color maybe 10 pixel okay 10 pixel is a bit bigger sorry for that maybe 5 pixel okay just like this just a stroke 5 pixel in this color now i want to make a copy here one copy and then press ctrl d like keep pressing ctrl d this is just going to take some time to make it how i want it to look like just like this so this is good for me i think yeah now i am selecting these stroke groups i am taking them and pasting in my swatch panel that is going to make me a swatch there so that is basically a pattern kind of effect i created there now if i select my this group this cream color group and click here okay what is happening here so i need to make sure that i am selecting my this cream group only like this then i can click here okay it is applied but the problem is we have we have it on top of it so something like this maybe i am selecting them now there should be no fill only strokes okay so it is applied on the okay sorry for that guys because i made a mistake here that's not basically a mistake but the problem is when i was changing the color here i selected the stroke mode from here in this swatch panel and that's why like if i select i am selecting the cream color text here and my stroke was on top is on top so that's why it is going to apply that on my stroke but if i click on this fill now my fill is on top so whatever i will apply here will be applied to my fill color so if i click here it is going to make it look like this now this is not looking very good at this point because we just created a pre-made pattern here and as you can see this is the area that is causing the problem so i am selecting this one maybe i will just something like this but that is a bit okay just like this that is good i think now i am clicking this done here and that area is fixed so this is just a effect here we are creating now if we, you just want to make the same effect style with other colors that is also possible but i just want to keep it really simple like this so that is good now there is another option that is 
called the okay if i just select everything like this then press shift m i can get this shape builder tool then i'm going to erase the part that is going out of my text area here that is good this part is not good so just erase it just like this then this part here now this is just up to you if you just want to give it look like this now this kind of designs always looks good on kind of texture so i am going to use this grants texture here this is just a grants from free pick you can search like grants texture you will find this pack this is free to download i am using that one so i am making them a group everything a group like this then i can go to transparency now this is the perfect way of applying grants texture on your design you may have seen many other different ways but trust me this is the perfect way if you want to apply grants texture on your design the transparency using the transparency so whatever we paste in the transparency if that is in black that makes our design look like this kind of effect now if you want to make it give it a bit more grand structure you can take this one that is so the rule is make them make your design a group then open the transparency then inside the transparency paste your grand structure so that is the rule if you are following something like minus front or any other technique that is just hard to work but if you try this technique this is the easiest way and we have done lots of practice on transparency before so i hope it will help you to understand you can see this is how it is looking right now so this is our final design for this one you can see this is really looking good for me you can just add some more to stop your own and practice and post in our group and show us how you made them so that's it for today's video guys i hope you learned something new from this one keep supporting like comment and subscribe to my channel i will make more videos like this and this is really that will be really amazing to get your support guys okay guys so that's it for today's video thank you everyone thank you for watching my videos see you in the next video guys have a great time